All right, we are back. I wanted to do one to get into some more of the specifics. Um, I've pretty much covered all the normal stuff, so if I would go back and look at some of my other videos for some of the basics if um, there's anything in, in this video that uh, you don't understand. If I haven't explained it already, just leave me a comment. We'll go over it. I'm a nobody, so I'll, I'll actually answer it, I promise. Um, full disclosure, I'm still learning how to play this game, so, you know, this may not be the most optimum way to do it for a lot of people. Um, and if you have uh, feedback or ways that I can do these, this better, please let me know, because I've been having a lot of fun with this game. I want to get better at it. But uh, the purpose of this video is for two things, police records and academic changes. They're both basically the same thing, but I just want to cover both of them um, just so we can get some get some time in here and and uh, and see what we can do. I'm not going to do any level zeros because I feel like those are just so easy that you don't learn anything. So we'll do some level ones. Um, so I'm in my hack shop. Let's find a rep one. Again, I don't know how long this is going to take, so just stick it out. We're just going to do some live hacks and uh, maybe you learn some stuff. So okay, level one police record. Let's see what we got. Um, modify the information, and as with all things, you SSH into your proxy server, not hack from your home machine, and we do an nmap. Okay. So, with police records, we're just looking for a computer. We basically just need any device that has the executable on it to be able to modify records. So. 0.1s or any dot one is going to be a router of that subnet, right? So 172.16.9.1, that's a router. 4.1, that's a router. But um, 4.6 is. So we see the 4.1, and we also see 4.6. Now, that looks like the easiest one. So we want to. We basically want to try to go uh, straight to the computer. Now, it looks like we might be able to do it on port 80. So we're going to go exploit scan uh, public on port 80. And for our um, for our third argument, we're going to do the uh, PC that we're targeting on the inside. Remember, you can target an individual PC past the public IP. Um, oh, we oh, I almost forgot one thing. Um, since I am SSHing into my proxy server, I want to do an add var lib0 for scan speed. So let's try that again. So we'll do exploit scan public on port 80, uh, 172.16.4.6. And let's see what we come back with. Check targets. Okay, well, this was, <laughs> this was really easy. Uh, index 0 is root shell. So we'll just use zero. Uh, let's do an FS um, so we can see all the contents. And what we're looking for is police record.exe. It looks like there's also a chat log here. Now, normally I usually don't grab these, but this is a good example of Git. So let's say we want um, this chat log. So we know it's at home slash Bernero slash chat 729.log, okay? So in Viper, the syntax would be git and then where it is and then where you want it to go. So I'll just have it go to root, right? We'll copy that, paste it in here. Okay, now we have that chat log. Uh, what else? Do we got anything interesting in here? Not really. Um, another couple good commands are grab mail. That'll give all the email. Grab bank. That'll give all the bank counts. Or you can just do a grab all and it'll give you everything. Um, I probably won't bother with these because NPC uh, bank accounts usually don't have that much money. <clears throat> but, you know, just for proof of concept. Okay. So we are in the shell. We're gonna corrupt logs, <clears throat> and we know that we need to get to police record.exe, and that is here. Um, so from here, we're in Viper right now. 
which means we have, if you type help, you can see all the commands that we can use. Now, the interesting thing is that we can't like run executables in here, right? We need to drop back down into a shell. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna type shell. Okay, and now we're in as root on that in a normal terminal session. From there, we could do like, uh, we could do a CD, okay, right? So now we're in that directory and we can go police record.exe. And who are we looking for? Toby Nermal. Let's find him. Toby Nermal. And the client wants to modify the charge of aggression so that the date of the crime is 17 years before it was committed. Okay, so there's two aggression charges. So we'll do 1993 minus 17. I guess if there's two here, we should be okay. But we're gonna try this one first. Uh, so that would be 1976. Wants to modify the charge, not add or delete, just modify the existing charge. Now, I think that should work. Let's double check and make sure that was the right one. Satisfied, cool. So that's it, that's a police record job. Now notice that I'm still in this other computer um, as root, so I wanna get out of there, right? Now I'm all the way back to my home terminal. Whoops. Okay, let's, uh, let's SSH back into my other device. Actually, I'm dumb. Launch Viper. SSH advar lib zero. Now, normally you, you would use macros for this. There, you can write full macros to basically do single keystrokes, do like full commands. And we'll, we'll cover all that stuff later, but we're just starting with the basics right now. Okay, so that was a police record job pretty easy now you could just you could crack all these if you want to to go sneak around and mail and whatever but we're gonna go on we're gonna move on to the other one just so we can cover both of these in one video and i'm trying to make these videos not super long so <clears throat> if there's anything that happened here that you don't understand <clears throat> just let me know and uh and we can go over it all right let's find some academic changes that's rep zero we really don't want to do rep zero it's, they're too easy okay here's one let's accept it all right, client wants change wants to change some grades in his academic record. And we have the remote IP <clears throat> and the database is located at 192.168.14.2. If you cannot access directly, you can try to access through a teacher's computer in the local network. Okay, easy enough. I don't think I've done one like this before. So this will be a learning experience for both of us. All right, let's end map it. Do we see 14.2 in there? Oh. It's too easy. These are these are just entirely too easy. So we'll do uh, exploit scan public on port 80. I think that was the same as the last one too. And then we'll do our optional parameter, uh, 168.14.2. <clears throat> see what we get. These are, these are way too easy. So we got root shell as our third index. So we'll do use three. Uh, let's do an FS to look around. Um, you can try to access a teacher's computer in the local network. Studentsviewer.exe, I believe is what we're looking for. Report .pdf. there's some stuff in here. Looks like this is the right place. Okay, so studentsviewer.exe is actually at root. So let's corrupt logs, uh, drop into a shell, and let's do studentsviewer.exe. There we go. Kobe Uzumad, first one. Change the note to, appro to approved at least. If it needs to go up, I just put like 100. <laughs> 
just to make sure, just because it's easy. So let's do done. Customer satisfied. All right, there you go. Those are the basic uh, academic and police changes. Um, again, from here, uh, we're still in route, so we could do some other fun stuff if we wanted to, but we won't do that today. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We could go. I could go uh, crack some of these and make some extra money if I wanted to, but it, it's it's really that simple for some of these lower ones. And and I'll do. Um, I think in the future I'm going to do some freestyle videos where we just pick some harder ones that I don't really know how to do yet, <clears throat> and we'll work through them together. Um, maybe I can learn some stuff from you guys along the way too. Anyways, uh, I appreciate you watching. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. I'll talk to you later.